Hi, my name is Randy Shear, and I'm a technical curriculum developer here at Jitterbit. And I'm glad you could join me as we walk through the setup process for the ServiceNow Jira project management process template. First, I want to explain what a process template is. The Cloud Studio process templates are groups of pre-built integration use cases that accelerate the execution of a specific business process using numerous objects across multiple applications or systems. Process templates are designed to reduce the time to deployment by 50 to 80% and can be self-implemented, delivered by Jitterbit Professional Services, or delivered by an implementation partner. For access to a template, contact your customer success manager. The ServiceNow Jira Project Management Process Template improves collaboration by harmonizing data between ServiceNow and Jira. Both development and service teams are able to work closely together, eliminating manual reconciliation of service tickets and enabling them to be fast, efficient, and accurate in resolving issues. The template automates the creation of new tickets in Jira from cases in ServiceNow when related to product defects or enhancements. With all of that out of the way, let's begin with installing the process template. To install the process template, I'll need to log into the Jitterbit Harmony portal and open Marketplace. Marketplace is Jitterbit's new resource for searching and retrieving recipes and process templates to help you quickly create new projects. I will use the filter on the side to help me remove unwanted templates. Once I find the appropriate template, I will first click on the documents to download the documentation guide for this process template. This documentation guide should be referenced frequently while using the process template. After the documentation guide finishes downloading, I'll click Start Project. I can modify the name and select my proper environment because Jitterbit is capable of having multiple environments. Once all these steps are complete, I'll click Create Project. After the project is created, I can either go back to Marketplace or go to Cloud Studio. I will continue to Cloud Studio where I will find my newly created project. After importing the project, I'll open the project as listed in the documentation guide. First, I will need to set the project variables. To set the value of these variables, I will go to the project variable list by clicking the actions menu icon, which are the three dots at the top of the project pane. I will then select project variables from the drop down menu then set or modify the values as appropriate. When I am done entering all the appropriate values, I will click the X at the top, which will take me back to the project. There is a list of variables that need to be changed in the supporting documentation guide. I will apply the appropriate variable settings for my connectors, and then I'll be ready to test each endpoint connector. With the appropriate variable settings applied, I click the X at the top, which took me back to the project. Prior to running any of the project's operations, I need to open each of the connectors, both ServiceNow and Jira, and test the connection to confirm that the supplied credentials work with each endpoint. First, I will check ServiceNow to see if the connection is successful. To do this, I will double click on the ServiceNow connector and scroll down to the bottom where I see the button called Test. When that button is clicked, it will take all the variable settings I used in the last step to see if there is a successful connection to my specific ServiceNow connector. If it was successful, I will see a green message saying Connection Success. If it was not successful, I will get an error message. I see here that my connector was set up correctly, and I will click the X at the top and do the same thing for my Jira connector. Once this step has been completed, I can deploy and run the project. If you have any questions, please check out the information located at Success Central by going to success.jitterbit.com.